Hello and welcome back to the Hole in the Wall channel. I hope you're having a good day because this video will not bring your spirits up. Today we'll be discussing unedited footage of a bear, an adult swim infomercial that came out December 14th, 2014. This project is a very in-depth project as all adult swim infomercials are, so please we're going to try to get right into this one. Your discretion is advised for this one more than any of my other videos, as this one will be discussing drug abuse, neglect, murder, sexual, and physical abuse. So please, if you are in any way, shape, and form disturbed by any of those topics or will have trouble listening to me talk about those topics, please click off the video and come back when you're ready to hear it. As this video is one of the most more intense videos I will have on my channel as we will be discussing and delving into very serious topics. In that same vein, I do suggest you all watch this video for yourselves as this video should be intended as a guide after the fact. We do have a summary in the middle, but to get the full effect of this short, you should watch it without any context. So please, if you haven't seen it, it's all on Adult Swim's YouTube channel. Um, it's a great and amazing short. Very intense, but still a good short nonetheless. So with all that being said, let's get into unedited footage of a bear. So we start the video out with just bear. Uh, nothing more, nothing less, nothing crazy. It's just a footage of a bear and a man heaving in the background for some reason. Then we get a cut in an ad. A YouTube ad on a TV screen and remember and in, in this taken into consideration this was actually released on air back in 2014 this was not released on YouTube originally as we are promoted this prescription drug Claridrol and we get to meet our main character Donna as it seems as though she's suffering from a cold and this is what this drug is supposed to counteract and we also see her two children screaming out for her, shown the box. But it actually never tells us what the drug actually is. All we are told is nasal spray, that it acts immediately, acts indefinitely. Now, we are moving past the ad. Yeah, we don't skip the ad, we're just more in the ad. The skip ad goes away, the Claire Drill advertisement completely vanishes, and it's just Donna in her very dirty Subaru. Though, where are the kids? Why, why are, why are there no kids? What, she was just playing with them, right? That's what Claire Drill's supposed to do, help you get more time with your kids. But they're not there. And she goes back and she grabs more Claire Drill. And driving, she keeps driving, she keeps driving until she sees a house and a bunch of people are in front of it it looks like a murder's happened but who's died why is this so incredibly sad why are there cops in front of the house crying then we see a man freaking out as the rest of the cops are taking more stuff out of his house now this is such a little detail but it's more important as we get text at the bottom of the screen almost every single scene you typically find in those allergy medication, anti-drug medication ads, where they gotta legally define what exactly this drug does. She keeps driving down the house, but someone's calling her. Someone named Donna? But she's Donna. And then she stops right at a yellow cardigan. Her cardigan. But why is that on the road? She's wearing it, right? How does that make any sense? So she goes and investigates what exactly this cardigan is, why exactly it's in the middle of the street, but this brings some worry to her, so she slowly gets out. We get more text at the bottom of the screen telling us what Clara Jill might do, and she sees her. She sees... She sees... She sees... Herself. This other Donna, this decrepit, ugly thing, this thing that doesn't have form, it starts running after her. She's terrified. She makes it back into the car, she runs in, and she doesn't have enough time to close the door, and 
the evil Donna tries to get her, but regular Donna is able to escape. She's trying to run, she's trying to hide from what she thinks is evil Donna. She thinks that she can run, she thinks she can outrun it. She thinks as long as she can try to run, she can escape herself. And this is one of the first ones that I do want to point out with the bottom text as we are given this sentence. In many post-marketing cases, resolutions of symptoms after, discontinu and after discontinuation of Claridrill was reported, although in some cases the symptoms persist, therefore ongoing monitoring and supportive care should be provided until symptoms resolve. So, after a, what it seems like, lifetime pursuit, evil Donna gets her. And she fights and she fights and she fights, but... Truly, there is no beating this version of herself. Evil Donna gets the best of her and ends up just destroying what was left of good Donna. Now with the keys in her hand, she's the one able to take control of the car. And well, she's going to the same destination that good Donna should have been going to, which is her house. But before that, well, she has to finish off what she started and she runs over good Donna gives us another small tidbit of information what Claridrill could do, which is stop taking Claridrill immediately if your symptoms worsen, which is sadly, I don't think, something that Donna knew before starting Claridrill. And the screen goes to black, and we at Donna, she's fighting for her life, she's fighting for something, and then we get another little tidbit of information. The risk of Claridrill should be weighed against the benefits of its use. Claridrill has been demonstrated to increase the likelihood of abuse, abuse from taking Claridrill for as long as one year compared to the treatment with placebo. So Donna, fighting for her life, tries to crawl back to the house as we get another infomercial saying, see our ads in Tables and Chairs magazine. See Donna looking at her house where her parked sedan or Honda Civic, I don't know what car was used, I don't know who promoted this, but her car is in front of her house. Both doors open, and, well, there can only be one person in that house. As we see your kids finding presents for them, it's, it's all fun, it's all fun and games when someone is like this, but the secret is, is that it doesn't last for long. As we get another tab an infomercial saying an increase in sexual and gambling urges has been reported in moms undergoing a taking of Claridrill. In some cases, the urges were described as too intense by the moms and the dose of Claridrill has to be reduced. We see evil Donning Donna running after the kids. We see her just trying to do her best. We see a very dirty and completely disheveled kitchen area. She gets a call who's on the other line but she keeps just screaming Donna as maybe a call to her past life the evil Donna wrecking the house completely turning it upside down see as Donna basically abuses her two kids we see as evil Donna abuses her two kids as she goes around destroying the house um, we even see the next one saying call your doctor immediately if you have someone's face all over you, as this could be permanent. Where again, my viewer discretion advised is going to take into big effect here, as I'm about to discuss is going to be heavily intense for people who are not prepared for it. So again, if you are someone who cannot handle abuse, physical, mental, sexual, m towards children, click off the video as um, we're about to get into a lot of heavy subjects. So we see Donna going around, again, just destroying the house, see her messing with her kids, even mock her kids as, as evil Donna just destroys the house. She has no care for her kids. She has no care for her family, her life, her house, every next thing that pops up after she mockingly teases her daughter's cheerleading pose is advise patients and caregivers that the patient should not should stop taking Claridrill and contact healthcare profession provider immediately if if hostile depression or change in behavior thinking that are not typical for the patient are observed or if the patient develops suicidal behaviors in many post-marking cases resolutions 
of symptoms after discontinuation of Claridril was reported, although in some cases the symptoms persisted. Therefore, ongoing monitoring and supportive care should be provided until symptoms resolve. And we see Donna in a dress in her kid's closet. As evil Donna keeps screaming for Donna, as Donna outside the house trying to get in, you get another one of those messages where it says, free, for a free child, please visit us at www.claradrill.com. See evil Donna looking in at them, just playing other games. And of course, another scene with evil Donna going crazy but she stands in front of four chairs, two little ones and two big ones, as she shoots every single one of them in maybe the idea that you killed them. As the kids are completely scared out of their mind, we get Donna in the basement dancing. Another one of the texts at the bottom. Claridril is meant to relieve the frequent. Claridril is meant to help the frequency and severity of symptoms caused by the intake of Claridril in cases lasting more than one week. She talks to the wall about a guy she met. Presumably, she's talking about the father who, by this point, has not been seen, has not been heard of. So, anyway, we went out this other, about two weeks ago, and I met the- She continues to go insane in the basement, and then we see good Donna outside, with red and blue lights of the cops. Donna saying that she doesn't have a gun, that she doesn't have a gun. It's always been a short that I've loved because of the bigger meaning that it is. I mean, again, it's a anti-drug PSA. So I'm going to explain what it means and then I'm going to point out the details. I tried to record this before and it didn't work when I pointed out the little details and then talked about what it means at the end. But this one, I think we need to go in and look at what it means before we can actually look at the smaller details. This is a anti-drug PSA, flat out straight anti-drug PSA. It's talking about over-the-counter prescription drugs, mainly of how, I mean, if you guys all remember back in the day when we would actually watch cable TV, you would get those like commercials that would just show a drug. It was never supposed to be just that drug. It was supposed to always be added with a drug or taken, or it was supposed to be taken with a drug, but all of the symptoms would be terrible, terrible symptoms. And they would hide it by speeding up the voice, putting text at the bottom of the screen. Unedited footage of a bear shows us exactly what these drugs do. They show us the aggressive side of how people abuse prescription drugs. As we see Donna and evil Donna are the same person. Throughout the short, we are shown that they are two different people, but truly they are the same. Good Donna, the one that is shown before evil Donna, that's Donna on Claritin. We see that. We see the boxes and boxes of boxes behind her. We see her even taking Claridril. But the reality is, is the Donna that's fighting her is her addiction. Why she's taking Claridril, because truly without Claridril is a husk of what she used to be. And we can understand that, um, seeing this later on, we understand that she might have started taking Claridril as an anti depressant drug as we see how there is no father we see that there is a photo of him we see her talking about him but we never see him it can go one of two ways either the husband died or she murdered him all equal the same thing the husband's dead it's just her and the kids and so we see throughout the short um these little pieces of text that now make more sense as the thing that it's describing is how she feels on Claritin. Even in the beginning, um, we are shown another guy. When she drives past it, we are shown a guy and both people in green pairs of sneakers. These people are supposed to be one and the same as it's supposed to show how being addicted to a singular drug will kill your old self and will leave whatever is left of it. And I think the worst part of this all, and again, remember, this is this is all real. This is all reality for someone. Just like my Opal video, this is a reality for some people. And it's truly depressing because not only is Donna killing herself, not only is Donna becoming a complete husk of who she used to be, but she's also dragging her kids along with her as 
we see in the later part how the kids are just celebrating because that's usually what happens in addiction cases is you usually get this like big high where you're celebrating the world you're giving out gifts but right behind all of that gifts there's always this point of where it's not high of addiction anymore it's the low it's the part that trashes the house the part that destroys what once was here see the kids are very very scared of donna at this point then leads us to again one of the very disturbing bottom pieces of text as um again viewer discretion is advised increase in sexual and gambling urges now why this is so sad is again we can presume that because it's there for that scene most likely donna abused her kids in a very sexual way um, as every single time we do see Donna in this little piece of text usually tells us a bit more on what exactly that has in connection to the drug. So we see that and again this is actually the first time it's ever Clergil has ever been put with moms which is very telling that that is most likely the case of what happened here. It, it's sad to assume that but in most cases something of the sort does happen when pe when they're abusing drugs when when there's an abuse in drugs there's always an abuse in power and of course we see the dirty room as again why is she gonna clean i mean claire drill's doing everything for her it's making her happy right why why should we clean why should you know when we can have claire drill her calling donna i think could be assumed as just her hoping back for her old life that's what i took of that um of course we get the children who are very very scared very very sad and then of course donna is just wrecking the house because again she's she's addicted to drugs like another one of those applying abuse bottom text says call your doctor immediately if you have someone's face all over you as this could become permanent talking about the sun um being shown in this we again zoom some sort of uh, use happens i think i actually forgot to mention this but earlier they did say they were claire drill was in a times or times like magazine showing how easily obtainable claire drill is but we talk about like all these infamous drugs but and how addictive and how crazy those drugs are for you but we forget to mention the drugs that are readily available for us that we can literally go to our pharmacy and pick up that are so addictive or the bedroom closet dead donna in purple dress i don't really know what that's supposed to mean it might me present the trauma of the girl um basically because the princess is dead that's the end of her childlike innocence then of course the saddest piece of text that we are given trial offer please visit clairejill.com another the adult swim short is showing you how easy it is just to get these type of drugs is again you can get a free trial on their website um now originally there was actually a website for this that i can remember is an arg type thing um it does give a bit more secrets about Claire Drill. sadly i don't have access to it um, but I do suggest Nexpo's video as he does go more in depth in what exactly this short is supposed to mean, but also does go into that part of the short in terms of that website. Again, I just don't think I have access to it, so we can't really cover it here. Of course, Donna looking at the four chairs as it is presumed by the ending with the house and the cops in front of it that Donna did kill her whole family as she even says that she doesn't have a gun <laughs> maybe trying to clear up her innocence even though she 100 did it and that's when the short ends as donna most likely gets arrested for the murder and abuse of her kids and that's the end of the short i personally think this is the most perfect drug psa that i have ever seen as it takes you through so many emotions but in the end, you understand exactly why everything is put the way it's put. It's supposed to show you that addiction is bad, but over-the-counter drug addiction is even worse, as you can readily get these drugs everywhere. 
sometimes even without a prescription. And this infomercial is supposed to show you that that is just completely insane and that the only person you're hurting in this scenario taking this many drugs is the people around you. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys actually somewhat do like these darker videos. I, I personally like making them. They're very interesting um, as I do a lot of these darker deep dives on my own time. Unedited footage of a bear was one that I originally saw when it first came out um, back in 2014 and I was instantly hooked onto it. I instantly try to gather as much information from it, figured out that yeah, this is about drug abuse and only as recently kind of kind of um, caught on to the little subtle things that have been in there like the abuse towards the children, but it's still a good still a good short again. I hope you guys go watch the short. It's all on Adult Swim's website, um, just like the Opal video. All on Adult Swim's website on their YouTube channel, completely for free. I suggest you guys go watch it. And But if I did miss anything, please put it in the comments. Um, put in the comments your own reaction to the short itself, what you guys think I might have missed in the, in the analysis, in the breakdown, in the sort of ideas around this short. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. I love doing these videos. They're very fun. They're very interesting. They delve deep into topics that not a lot of people like to delve into. But with that being said, thank you all for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Good night.